Well, hello again, ladies and gents, and welcome back to another video. I hope you are all keeping well and uh, getting ready for the festive season. Uh, if you're watching this in the summer, then look forward to the next festive season. Um, this video is basically just an update, really, on the last one that I made, which was the review of the Real C Galwa M2 uh, 3D LiDAR camera. Uh, if you haven't seen that review video before, then I will pop a link up here for you to uh, to take a look at that. Uh, it is quite long, so you might want to get yourself a cup of tea or something. Um, but since recording that video, Real C have put in a lot of updates, uh, and they have kind of squashed a lot of the potential issues uh, that I sort of brought up in that video, which has now made this camera even better. Um, I mean, since I recorded the last review video, there's been a huge, huge, huge mixture of comments and feedback on there. Quite a lot of comments from diehard Matterport fans uh, who are either non-believers or worried. Um, yeah, you know, whether, whether you're a diehard Matterport user or not, at the end of the day, these are, these are just tools. They're tools to get a job done. Uh, and if a tool can get a job done faster or in a better way, then I'm all for that. So, um, you know, I think people need to sort of look at this and take it with a pinch of salt, as to say. And, and you know, really, this, this real C system is absolutely phenomenal. Um, so what I wanted to do is just go through the new things that they've released and to improve the platform. And um, let's start off with number one. So the first update that they've introduced is uh, what they call panoramic video integration. Now this is something that I'm kind of used to being a 3D Vista user for my sort of main virtual tours, as to say. Um, and it basically enables you to uh, sort of add a video into your 360 images. So I haven't had a chance to use many of these features yet because I've been quite busy. And to be fair, I'm winding down for the year now and uh, I'm gonna spend time with my, with my family for Christmas. So, um, but you can see from this video that what it does is it enables you to incorporate a normal video into a 360 image, which for this example they use in a rock climbing school is just fantastic. You know, it's an absolutely brilliant way to bring 360 images to life just that little bit more. There are a couple of caveats with things like this. You do need to ensure that the video that you take is taken in exactly the same spot as the camera itself, which can be tricky. Uh, you know, there's, n I don't think you're ever going to get it 100% aligned. Um, but I'm, I'm assuming that they do do some kind of blending in uh, to try and get that alignment process working smoothly. Uh, but however, I think once you've got the hang of it, uh, you know, you'll, you'll be able to use this tool really well. And I think there are so, so many different areas where you can, uh, where you can benefit from using this. So, uh, so yeah, big thumbs up for that one. I think it's a, a fantastic addition. And that brings me on to the next feature, uh, which is something that I brought up in my first review video. Uh, and that is the fact that the, that the Real C Goa camera doesn't have a very large vertical field of view. Uh, and the issue with that is it created a very, very large sort of blurred part at the, the, the um, nadir and the zenith, the bottom and the top of the image. So uh, what Real C have done uh, is they have introduced AI filling. I'm going to go into a few other options to do this a little bit later on. But for now, what this does is when you upload your tour, it will automatically remove that blurry part of the bottom and the top for you. Now it doesn't do, I wouldn't say it does a 100% perfect job. Um, it is slightly pixelated and it's not quite as sharp as if you were to sort of point the camera down and take a full on photo, but it does the job. You know, it, it, it clears up that blurry section uh, and it just gives the user just a bit more space just to look up and down, which I think is just absolutely fantastic. So, um, so yeah, really, really, really impressed with that with that new addition and um, well done Real C team on that. And the next feature sort of linking in with the sort of the AI removal side of things is just brilliant. Um, what this one is, is it's basically AI camera removal. So many times when you're placing your camera doing a, a 360 tour like this, you have to be very, very careful of where you're placing your camera so you don't see it in mirrors, especially in bathrooms and things like that. Uh, what this does uh, is again, you come onto the menu um, and you click remove camera 
and automatically it will look at every single scene in your tour uh, and it will remove the camera from any mirrors. Um, I haven't seen any examples with, reflex with reflections yet. Uh, I suppose it depends on how strong the reflection of the camera is, but the fact that this does it all automatically is just incredible. Uh, yes, it's still worth just clicking through the tour and just making sure that it hasn't missed anything, um, but this is just gonna save a huge amount of time and something that I don't think you can do with uh, with, with Matterport. So um, yeah, you know, I think this is a, a really, really, really good addition. There are other ways that you can remove the camera, again, which we'll cover a little bit later on. And it's another huge, huge update that they've done, which I think is an absolute game changer in my opinion. Um, but having this automated is just fantastic. So the next feature uh, is, seems like quite a small one, but I think it could be quite powerful. And that is uh, the ability to bring up a visitor message. So uh, when someone comes into the tour, you can have a little message pop up saying, contact me. Uh, you can choose when you want this pop up to come into the tour or whether you want it to come up on a particular scene. Um, and this will be great for data capture. So especially for things like uh, you know real estate agents, you could say, uh, contact me for more information or contact me to make a booking or a viewing or whatever it may be. Uh, so yeah, a really, really nice little feature uh, that has been added on there. And I think uh, a lot of people will find that really, really useful. So the next one is in my opinion, huge, absolutely huge. Um, what Realsea have done is they have added the ability to upload your tour to Google Street View. And now I've been using a program called GoThrough for Google Street View for some time. Uh, I still will carry on using GoThrough for Google Street View. Um, if I'm using my Sony camera to do a 360 tour. Uh, however, when I do tours next year using the Real Sea Gold World, which I'm, I'm sure, in fact, I've got about five or six booked in already uh, for you know small to medium sized businesses, um, then I will 100% just click the button and job done. I don't need to do anything. Uh, because all the connections are already there. You've got enough images for it all to, for it to all be sort of stitched properly and everything like that. Um, so yeah, wow, is all I can say. Uh, that is just gonna be a massive, massive, massive game changer. And the fact that the quality of the camera is so high as well uh, means that you know the Google algorithm, as to say, is gonna look at these tools in a very, very positive way. Uh, so yeah, I mean, Bravo, real C. Seriously, I think it's uh, that's an absolutely amazing addition to the uh, to the platform. So, um, moving swiftly on to the next one, which again is is a is a minor update, um, but it gives you the ability to add uh, create albums basically. Uh, so you can add certain tours, say for example, all of your property tours or all of your commercial tours or. Um, all the tours for a, a business, so if they have loads of different branches or whatever it may be, you can put them all into an album under one link. Okay, that's um, great for portfolios, really, really good for your portfolio website if you want to just, to just embed uh, an album uh, into your website so people can have a look at all the different tours that you've created, uh, then yeah, that's a really, really nice tool to have. So um, once I've got a few under my belt next year, I'm definitely going to be doing that myself. And the next feature is, uh, again, a huge, huge, huge plus um, because as a 360 drone user myself, you know, I, I very often I take a 360 aerial photo for pretty much every single business that I do a tour for, uh, is the ability to add external panoramas into the tour. So what you can do is you can add a button into the tour itself where someone can click on it and then they can view uh, a full 360 image, uh, full screen uh, in the tour itself so as you can see, the example that I've used here is of a school and people can just hop on, take a look at the aerial view from the school and then just head back into the tour and carry on as they were. So, you know, if you do have any sort of 360 photos, um, I believe you can also do 360 video as well. Um, I did see a button on there that, did, that said 360 video. So um, yeah, again, you know, a, a really, really, really nice feature to add in just to sort of open things up a little bit more to users and uh, give them the best experience possible. Now, the next one is, again, something that I brought up in the first review video that I did. Um, 
and that's it kind of links in with removing the blurred part at the bottom and the top uh, n now that they've added in the AI side of things to do that as I said earlier absolute game changer it's brilliant however it's not perfect so what you can do is you can export the 360 images from the real C camera to your computer in full resolution which is 16,000 by 8,000 pixels um, they do get exported in JPEG at the moment, uh, but I do believe that DNG or raw support is coming soon, hopefully. Uh, don't quote me on that, but um, I do hope we'll see do uh, add, that, add that option in. Um, but then what you can do is you can basically edit the photos how you wish. So you can start masking things in Photoshop, you can bring down the highlights of Windows, you can uh, adjust contrast, you can adjust colour, you can adjust all sorts of things in there. Um, you can even uh, turn it into a 360 um, projection and then you can remove the blurred part using Photoshop's AI tool, uh, which is probably a bit more accurate. I'm not sure what we'll see used to remove the, the blurred part in their, their AI side of things. Um, but from experience, I have removed the blurred parts using Photoshop and it does a fantastic job. So you can use the option if you want. So once you've then edited all of your photos, um, even if it's just in Lightroom, you just do a batch edit on all of them, give them a bit of contrast, you know, a bit more saturation, um, whatever you want to do with it. Then the great thing is, is that you can then re-import them back into RealC and you will then be viewing the edited photos in RealC, but you will still have all of the LiDAR data attached, all of the original data that you had in the first place. Now that is a huge, huge, huge plus and something I know that, uh, you know, Matterport is very difficult to do that with. So, um, so yeah, I mean, it's just, it just makes it even better. Uh, you can even, if you wanted to, if you don't feel like the image is sharp enough, which they are, uh, you could use something like Topaz uh, Sharpen, uh, which is a piece of software that I've used for a long, long time. Uh, again, I've done a video on that, so if you wanted to take a look at that, then I'll pop the link up here for you. Um, but yeah, you know, just having the ability to export the photos and edit them just gives you a lot more freedom. Uh, so yeah, again, I applaud the, the Real C team for, for adding that feature in. Um, finally, the last one that I wanted to cover, and I don't think I covered this in the original review video, um, but to be honest, it's so long, I just thought, you know what, I'm just going to put it in here anyway, even if I did. So if I'm repeating myself, I apologise. Um, and that is live, th uh, live 3D calling, as they call it. So what this basically enables you to do is to hop onto a phone call with somebody um, through, the, through the tour, and view the tour in real time with them at the same time. So you can have control, the other person on the other end can have control, so you can show them around and talk to them, or they can look around and you can talk to them. As far as I'm aware, there's no video call support. Um, I think it is just a, a phone call, but that's fine. You know, I think again, for the real, realtors, real estate market, uh, this is incredibly powerful. Uh, so, you know, to summarize, I think RealC just seem to be acting incredibly quickly on all of these new updates that they're doing. I mean, I think it's only been a few months or a couple of months since I've done the original video. Um, and in that time, they just keep working and working and working just to make this product even better. So I am incredibly excited to see what 2024 is going to bring for RealC. Again, if you're watching this video and you haven't seen the first video, uh, I do encourage you to go back and look at that one. Uh, but pricing for the RealC Goldwire M2 is still incredibly competitive. So I'll just pop the pricing overview up on the screen for you very quickly now. Uh, when compared to Matterport, you know, it's it works out way 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 cheaper so if you are looking to get into uh, the whole 3d scanning thing uh, then definitely 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 consider this camera it's uh, it's it's a game changer and I've already got a lot of inquiries coming in from you know new uh, new homes companies uh, re real estate agents uh, businesses commercial businesses all sorts of places and um, that I've sent an example tour out to using the real sea gold wire and they've just been blown away so um so yeah thanks very much for your time uh, I hope you all have a fantastic Christmas and I wish you all the best for 2024 speak to you soon